Hello, everyone, and welcome to your Money Q&A question of the day. I'm your host, Stacey Johnson, and this question is brought to you by Money Talks News. We've been doing the best in personal finance news and advice since 1991. Okay, today's question comes from Mary. Mary says, I'm 79 and wondering if I'm too old to invest in a stock mutual fund. Do not want to assume high risk, so would you recommend or not? Well, Mary, I spent about 10, 10, 11 years as an investment advisor in a retirement area. I lived in Arizona, so it was nice and warm. And there were lots of retirees. So I had plenty of clients who were investing in stocks and stock mutual funds who were well over 79 years old. So uh, the answer to your first question is, are you too old to invest in mutual funds? No, you're not. What matters is when you're going to need that money. Obviously, if what you're doing is trying to create an estate, in other words, you have more money than you probably are going to spend, then there's nothing wrong whatsoever than you putting some of that money into risk assets like stocks. My rule of thumb, as you may have heard it many times if you've been watching these, is taking your age from 100. So if you're about 80, take your age from 100, that leaves 20. And that's about the maximum that you would want to put in stocks. Now, if you're going to need that money sometime soon, or could, then you don't put it in risk assets, period, stocks or anything else. Does that make sense? That's the first thing you need to know. Number two, how to invest that money. Uh, what, what I always advise is to use what's called dollar cost averaging. Okay, that means putting in a little bit on maybe a monthly basis instead of putting a whole lump sum in at once. Why? Because dollar cost averaging will, when the market's high, you'll buy fewer shares. And when the market's low, you'll buy more shares. And over time, that's going to give you better performance. It's also going to relieve you of a lot of the stress that comes when you put all your money in in a lump sum and the market goes down the next day and you feel like an idiot. So using dollar cost averaging is less stressful and it can be more profitable over time as well. Now, your final thing is if you're worried about this, don't do it. I know a lot of people have this feeling where they see the market going up every day and they're thinking, gosh, uh, it's F F O M O, fear of missing out, right? If it's going to bother you, and maybe it would since you've never done it before and you're 79 years old, don't do it. There, there is no investment return that's worth staring at the ceiling at night, okay? So if you're all right the way you are and all this is is fear of missing out, don't worry too much about doing that, Mary. Everything's going to be fine, and you, so don't ever feel forced to invest. But if you do, use those rules. Don't, don't put in too much, and do it a little bit at a time. Does that make sense? I hope that answers your question, Mary. And now we're going to close with our financial thought of the day. This one comes from Oscar Wilde. It's one of my favorites. Anyone who lives within their means suffers from a lack of imagination. <laughs> not, not really the philosophy of our website, but a kind of clever thing. Spread it around today, have a profitable day, and meet me right here next time.